Hip-hop since 1987, niggas. Hip-hop since 1987.com. You really started popping up all over social media and the internet from doing them crazy freestyles. Everybody's mm -hmm. reposting them. Mm -hmm. um, when did you actually realize, like, yo, I'm popping right now? I knew it, and it's, it's crazy. You might laugh at this, but <laughs> I ain't gonna say I knew it was real because I knew it. I knew what like stamped it, what solidified it. But I knew I I did something from my first video. I had what a thousand. Probably like no more, no more for a fact than 1,500 followers. Less than that. I know that for a fact. But usually when I put a freestyle vid up, I go by how I think with my views. I go by the minutes. If yeah. the minutes match, your views is good. If it's two minutes down, it's all right, but it still might make that push. Okay. So usually I put a video up, you know, three minutes go by. I, I was closing in on what, like three, four hundred views. Like, you feel me? That's how it was. Right. But this joint, it said five <laughs> minutes, and I'm at like... Uh, 8,000 views I'm like yo that never happened <laughs> so you know something had so I'm like all right maybe I just got a little I might get a little 10 9 thou, and that's all she wrote you feel right. me but that's a start in my head right I'll go to sleep I wake up the next day <laughs> they blow my phone up. yo quiet Bugsy put your country cook like everybody hit my line up talking about all these people put my freestyle up and yeah. it was like yo that's when I got a feeling like I might be on to something man <laughs> I mean I might be on to something Okay, okay. Now let's talk about these endorsements, man. Uh huh. Um, I see you all over the place with big companies endorsing you. Uh, yeah. You just mentioned Foot Locker, yeah. Puma, yeah. Nike. Talk to us about your endorsements and how you were able to get some of these endorsements. All right. Well, first of all, shout out Foot Locker. You know that's that's really big. That's really the big homie to me. You feel okay, me? Okay. I, it's more to that history I explain, but they seen one a couple of my videos. And they was like, yo, like, what you doing with these beats? And then incorporate. And it was like, like, they ain't know how to take it. Like, but they knew it was something. Like, it's all about it's all about the kids and positivity. Yeah. From the rip, they took a liking. So first thing they did, they ain't play around with it. Uh, for like us, uh, set it up, complex and all that. Puma. That's how, you know, Puma situation happened. Okay. So we donated 10000 We just gave it right to the kids. You feel me? Gave wow. it right to the okay. kids at the school. Leased them with all fresh Pumas. It's crazy. I kept grinding, you feel me? I kept working, but I was just doing my freestyles. Then they came back. Now Nike wanted it. And this okay. was full like I could put the mood together with Nike, you feel me? Okay. And it was like, yo, like, like this is really happening. Like that. So it, it goes to show you that I didn't get that like success or them deals. I didn't wave a gun at nobody's face. Like yeah. I didn't get a tell like I was me. Like I was the voice of the youth. Like I was just me, quiet. And it's like they like that. They like when you not telling somebody go put some pills or like go go bust a trap or nothing like that. Like it's thorough when they actually say, "Damn, you everybody just got honor rule and all that, and you took them out to eat." Mm. Thorough, like like that's what they see, that's what they like, and that's how we, you know that. And they believe in my play, like they believe my platform, what I stand for, and what I plan on doing to the city. Okay. Seriously. Okay. Now another person that you just mentioned was Will I Am earlier. Yeah. Uh, we've seen you with Will I Am in numerous scenes. Uh -huh. um, you guys actually have a video together. Yeah. Um, how did you meet Will I Am, and what's your relationship like with him? It's crazy because I met Will I Am. I'm out in New York. I remember like it was yesterday. Uh, Nas, I just uh, same night I met Nas, he uh, called me up. Nas was like, Yo, Qua, uh, we want you to come. I want you to come out. You feel me to my uh, party? I'm like, What? Without a question. You feel me? Like without a let's do it. Yeah. We get down there. He work in the crowd, everybody. Now he give me a little shout out. Like we got Philly Fairy Young Boy, the voice of the youth. We got him in the building. I'm feeling the love out in New York. You feel me on the, you know, like. So we go to the uh, VIP section. Like we go in the back. It's just you know him, his team, and us. You know my team. And Will just walk in. But I'm so in my phone though. I'm thinking of this crazy bar. You feel me? Like because I'm looking at all these. So I'm thinking of a bar. He like yo you. You LGB I was trying to get in contact with you for the longest. I'm like, well, I am telling me that. Like, <laughs> like it's tripping. I'm a youngest, so it's tripping me out. I'm still trying to get it all together. But from there in New York, he said, I like what you're doing. Like, I love what you stand for. You the future. Let's do something. We go out LA. 
he ain't hesitate. Like, Will is a, Will a thorough boy. Like, he ain't hesitate. I was about to do a freestyle, right? And Samiak was it, originally how that happened. I went out to the Hollywood sign. And I was by myself. You know, usually I with my boys doing my freestyle. Yeah. I went to the Hollywood sign and I went off the Biggie Smalls party and bullshit beat. Okay. You feel me? That's was that's was the original insomniac. But I go to the stew. I shoot Will. He from the rip. Like, oh, sh he go in the stew, uh, put the beat on, give his lyrics. Like, oh, listen, less than a day. Not even that. Next day, we go right to, uh, we go right uh, to the streets. Like, we went right to the streets and Skid Row. Oh, LA, if anybody yeah. ever been there, they know that is real. Like, yeah. like the hump, like, it's real out there with the uh, homeless. Like, it's like everybody tinted up. Like, everybody. We went out there from the rip and was like, no security, no nothing. We down in the mix with them. Like, uh, kept it real. That's mm -hmm. what I like. And I like how you value my opinion on, like, keep it street, but still keep it as a message. It's always a message with me. Okay. So he, he definitely a thoroughbore, man. So what's the best advice he's given you so far in the game? You got to stay hungry, man. You got, you got, you got to really stay hungry. He's like, you got to be a beast. Like, really, like, it's like, you could be so consistent and you just fall back a little bit, it could be over like that. Like, everything you did, it won't even count for nothing. So, his advice to me was to stay hungry but keep being me. Like, it's like, like, just keep being you. And it's like, that's easy. That's, I could always be me. Okay, okay. You know? Now, the streets have been calling for it. And you're finally getting ready to release your debut project. Yes. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Listen, me, one thing about me, I know for a fact, I like to give my fans what they want. Like, like everybody, like I told you, everybody know I'm good with the freestyle. They want that music, though, man. They tired of that the, waiting. The streets it's been calling like, for the music. They, and, they, and, and I respect anybody that wait. That's why That's why they about to get, they going to get my EP that will be dropping August. I promise you, y'all going to feel that vibe. Seriously, the best is yet to come, which leading up to my first debut album, man, Voice of the U Volume 1. Okay. But one thing about things is, like, I learned. It's so much that go on behind the scenes, man. It's like... It's like to anybody, I used to, because it's crazy, like I said, like I'm not going fraud and, and I can't do that. Like when I was a fan watching the rappers in my city, when they was at their promenade peak, I used to ask myself like, man, why he not doing this and why he not? This really a political, a political business. Like, for sure. it's like, really like for anybody that's like, for all my fans, all my, uh, the youngest that's watching this, if you jumping in this game, man, you got to have your head on right and your team got to be even right. And like, it's like, it's everything political, man. It's like. You got to do this in order for them to, you feel me? Like, yeah. so if you see people taking breaks, so you see people not, like, why they falling back a little bit? It's not that. It's just, it's, it, it get like that behind right. the scenes. So right. know, know what you, know what you, like, really know the business for you jump in it. Like, but that's why another reason I keep saying, like, I'm glad I'm learning and all this while I'm a youngin'. Like, I'd rather get, put the knife in my back now. Like, yeah, bite yeah. me now. I want all the snakes to do all, do all that cool, do all it now so I could, down the line when I'm old and more like advanced in this joint, it's like I'm on top of my game. Like right. I'm on point. Okay. You feel me? Now, why did you actually name the project The Best Is Yet To Come? I named it that because that's it's really self-explanatory. Right. Like this album, like the like I said, the project is just the is to put it into the can he make a song? Can okay. he cause everybody want that, you feel me? Like yeah. everybody respect my videos on the gram. Some people still want them and all that, but I feel like I need to show them like I'm an artist, you feel me? Like yeah. And the music, I, and the music for this project is going just put it into the can he do this and can he do that. The album is just going to solidify me, like where like all right, young and really the fuse, like he really says. So yeah, okay. the album gonna be crazy. Though. Now, what was it like putting this project together? It was fun. It was fun and frustrating at the same time, cause it's like you could. I probably was. I, I hear a beat from different producers, and I'd be like, damn. I probably be on that same joint, like I know this could be the joint. So like you don't never want to overthink it. Like when you in the stew, 25-8 is like sometimes it burn you out. Sometimes yeah. you can make 10 tracks. And sometimes you can't you brain block. You can't even get two or one out. So it was like it was frustrating and fun. But the fun part, me going to different cities, meeting people, putting these moves together, you know, to get the people a good like project. Right, the frustrating right. part was like it's so much distractions that can happen. Like, like while you trying to make your your project or whatever you're doing, it's like you got your phone ringing. It's, it's your family or it's your friends or it's such and such. It's like those be the little distractions, but they count. They count for everything. Them distractions can set you back. Okay. So I try to block myself from that or get, a, get 
you know, take myself out that, you know? Right, right. Now, let's break down the project a little bit. Talk to us about the production, any features you have on there. The production? Definitely a good, the production, a good production, I'm going to say. Like, we okay. got some names on there. I that's see you been, in pictures with some heavyweight producers. Yeah, like, man. that's it's why, like, that's another reason I, I really, I ain't going to give too, too much away because right, y'all right. getting it, y'all getting this, like, soon. It's coming like, really soon. soon. Like, it's going to be like, oh, all right, yeah, so I've been saying it so much, though. They tired of that. Like, right. I know they tired of, we don't want to keep, drop that shit. So, but production wise, we got some, we got some, we got some heavy hitters. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. Got some heavy hitters on there. Features, it's crazy. I really got. I can't. I don't want it like because it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't I want it to all, be you special. You feel the, uh, like I want it to be special, but like. But it's you do have be features a, on it. Yeah, I got features. I got uh, the project I'm about to drop. The best is yet to come. I probably got like two features on that. Okay. I'm talking album wise. Like it's like I don't. You feel me? Because like I said, everything is going to be there. Like when I drop, okay. it's on. Okay. Like. That's what I'm saying. You gotta stay active. That's why I'm always looking at the young rappers in my city. They keep me on my grind because okay. these young boys is coming. You feel me? They coming, okay. so they keep me on my grind. Now, what's the lead single off this project? Uh, that's gonna be actually coming this week. Ruthless, okay. featuring Zai Sosa. Okay. You know, everybody been waiting. I showed the preview for that in the stew and all that. They went crazy on that. Right. So you know, we about to get that. Uh, we about to get that. Uh, in motion, and that gonna be on all platforms. That's dropping though. Okay. Roof is definitely dropping, and and when that drop, it's gonna be like, all right, he says about it. Right, right. And we on it, like. I right, mean, shout out to Zasso, man. Yeah, Zai, and he, and he definitely a cool, he a thorough youngin too. Oh, um, do you plan on dropping a bunch of videos off the project? Do you already know what videos you're gonna drop off the project? I know. I gotta. I ain't gonna say I know, but I gotta feel for what the people might like vibe with the most on this project, like, cause it's like, mind you, nobody really never heard a project from me, so it's like. Right what they going like what they going so it's like but i know what they going like vibe to though because this project definitely like a vibey joint like okay okay now um you've been doing shows all over the city and outside of the city performing with big names opening up for a lot of artists right you have any upcoming shows you could tell us about oh man <laughs> we got <laughs> oh man we got show show listen shows for sure for sure a lot of shows coming up man a lot of shoes a lot of tours like my whole thing is the 2018 2019 this whole thing i'm, I'm gonna be smacking schools up man high schools i'm gonna be there like okay i'm gonna put my little i'm gonna put my wave into these schools man these high schools like i don't want to get too much of that away yeah, even yeah, but yeah. just know like i've been was talking about this even when i did the piece on the streets man i gave a hint to it like but it's always something with me though man i'm always up to something though. that's all you need to know okay. i'm always up to something now, that's going to be a lot of people watching this interview that may not have heard of you before, but they like what you're talking about right now. <laughs> right, um, right, right. If they want to get in tune with you, what's the first visual or song? What should they look up from you first to get in tune with LGP Qua? I mean, the way I look at it, you should always go with that song or whatever that, that introduced the world to you. You got to okay. pay homage to what broke you out. So definitely go to that LGP Qua New York, New York freestyle. That definitely was it. Okay. Man, they could go to that, put attachment to me. All right, now we got to talk about Jimmy Iovine. Oh, man. Man, we saw the picture of you and Jimmy Iovine all over the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Everybody yeah. wants to know two major things from mm -hmm. you. The first thing is, what's up with you and Jimmy Iovine? Okay. And the second question is, are you signed already? Okay. One... Jimmy I Iovine, mean, he a good, he a good old head, man. He a good guy. Like, uh, first time I went up there, it was like all her love like they yeah. they said the type of vibe he said the type of him personally said the type of vibe i give him is like a tupac and snoop type I vibe that. like i like like my character coming off to him because me like everything a first for me you feel me mm -hmm. it's all the first so he was asking me questions what i think about this around the time the Sixers was uh, playing Boston. I, okay. I remember I'm sitting in his office. He's got the couch. Everybody out there. We just watching. He looking at my stuff and was like, wow, this kid. Feel me? And this is Jimmy Iovine saying yeah. this. So I'm like, Legendary. oh. Like, yeah. So, like, the B, I'm psyched out. But we watching the uh, game and all that. And he asking me questions trying to pick my brain, see where I'm at <laughs> with it. But 
I'm just being me. So the <laughs> feedback I got was all love. Like everybody in the room, like, yo, this young, you feel me? Yeah. So it was all love. But he a good guy. And no, I ain't, I ain't, sign, he ain't signed me. I ain't signed uh, with Jimmy Iovine. Okay. I ain't signed. We on the independent. Like I'm independent right now. Okay. Like you got to build, you got to build your worth, man. Okay. Like, you know, but they knocking. Don't, they, oh, I know they, they, I know they I ain't you go, and, and, and you know, when you, when you're young and you see the first joint, you like, whoa. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. This is my starting value. I like right. it. And it just go up and up, but you got you got to keep building your value, man. So I'm keep building my value right now. Okay, let's talk about showing love a little bit. Okay. Um, like before we were filming, we were talking off camera a little bit about this, but I always mm -hmm. see you showing love and shouting out other Philly artists that's trying to make it. Right. Uh, why do you feel that that's important for you to do? I feel like, like I told you, like, like everybody always tell me, young and you different. We never seen nobody do what you do, rap how you rap. You different. And it's like, if you want to be different, you want to be in that lane, you can't just talk about it. Like, you got to really do it. And that's what I want to do. Like, that's why I like cities like Atlanta. I like cities like Baltimore, Chicago, Delaware, LA, like stuff like that. Like Detroit, like, and shout out all them cities. Yeah. They all show love. You feel me? Yeah. Not saying Philly don't, but anybody from my city, they know what they normally say. But I want the kids to see like, you could like somebody like when I was first coming up, when I was first like when I first start rising up and I start going traveling, right. I had that Philly pride in me. I yep. say that to say like I see somebody I'm a fan of music wise and they'd be like, I want to say something to him bad or I want to walk up and be like, yo, I'm a fan of your music. But in my head, being from my city, it's like right. I do that. Yo, you want some Joe shit, bro. Right. We don't do that. That's yep. Joe. Like I had the mindset, make him come to me okay. and all that. You feel me? Like. But that ain't hot. That ain't hot. That ain't hot. Post the beetle. Like I want the kids to see. Like I'm putting the end. Like me personally, I'm gonna tell you. I'm trying to put an end to the word Dicky to Joe. I'm trying to put an end to all that, man. You showing love. You just showing love. You a fan of somebody crap. You show love. And that's what I try and install on the youngins in the city or the kids that look that look up to me or listening to me or following in my footsteps. Show love. If we want to be like these other cities that's building it, we gotta come together. We gotta show love with each other. So okay. somebody see that, like, damn. He show love. Make somebody feel good, man. Right. Cause I know what it's like to be the underdog. I used to average two, three, four hundred views a week during the freestyle. You right. feel me? And I always wanted, I know I got the talent, the potential. Damn, it's like only everybody just putting up people that you feel me. Right. But I couldn't be mad. They earned the right to do that. Right. Never get mad. Never was mad. But at the end of the day, now that I'm in that position, hey, take that. Cause a repost would, a repost would take you far and like, well, it'll make somebody day, you feel me? Right. And that's what I try to do, man. I try to be that ultimate role model for these young and show them like it's cool, show him love. Mm -hmm. Tell him he's nice or something. Like it's ways to do things. It's not how you say it, it's the way you say it. You feel me? Right, right. And that's what I try. And I finally broke that. Like I broke that Philly pride curse thing. Like, no, if I like if I see a young and I'm fucking with in the city, I ain't no, I ain't too cool. Young and I'm fucking with you. Keep doing your thing, man. Right. Now, um, I know you're all about bettering the city of Philadelphia. Most definitely. Uh, what do you think needs to happen to make Philly a better city and a safer city? Oh, man. Is, they, is it a law where uh, cops can uh, patrol the streets without a gun? Like, that's <laughs> like, no, I'm from Bernard, man. Like, all jokes aside, I feel like it start with us as a people. Like, it just start with us. Little stuff. Like, we all just, everybody in their different professions or everybody in their different, whatever they doing. Uh, everybody share their platform. The more eyes looking, the better for exposure. We all come together, do little events, back to school joints, giving away stuff, like stuff like that. Like everybody gonna say, oh, we need to stop the violence, and we do. But it's like people hear that and be like, everybody always talk about it. Me, I'm not a, I'm a talker. Feel me? I, I'm, I'm, I got away with words, but they respect what you do. Like people respect progress. So what I do is I really bring it. Like I'm not just talking. If I say. Yo, them kids need sneaks. You gonna know, yeah, Kwai about to go bust a move or do something, like. So that's what it need, like, let's, if you wanna make a change, let's talk more action. In a good way, though, you feel me? Okay. <laughs> In a good Killed your barrel, didn't he? No, nah, no, nah, we ain't done, we got three more left. <laughs> um, Now, earlier, a second ago, we just talked about it's nothing to show love to other artists in the city, mm -hmm. but how do you actually feel about the climate of the music industry in Philadelphia right now? You wanna know why I say I love it? I love it for two reasons. One, because Philly had a name for the home of the spitters mm -hmm. at one point. It still is. It still Definitely. is. You feel me? It still is. They, I'm just saying like, but at one point, you rap, you rap. You feel me? 
one thing I love about when somebody create their own wave or their own lane, cause it's changed. Like it's like you mean the only thing that don't change is things always change. So yeah. it's like somebody start a wave, and it's like oh this new sound like this 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 they call it mumble rap or whatever they call it. I like the climate because everybody getting shot. Like it's like all the young, all the youngins that's really grinding and putting in work, they really getting they shine off it. Like yeah. you feel me? Like I like the climate. You got your, you got your rock stars in the city. You got your, your singers, your your hardcore spitters. Like you got every different type of category in the city doing their thing, rapping, and I like it. The climate in Philly is goofy. Like okay. climate okay. in Philly is goofy. Two years from now, where do you want to be? Two years from now. <laughs> oh man, where I wanna be? Yeah. Two years from now, man, I just wanna be here having an interview talking about how <laughs> I survived that. You give them like yeah. it's sad to say, but that's that's how it is, man. Like yeah. that's that's how it is. Like it's sad to say, but like I said, I always gotta be real. Like, but where I plan or where I wanna be, I wanna be in a crazy position. Like a crazy position, hopefully about to drop another album that went platinum on y'all something like that like or or putting parts in with a school or something like wherever i'm gonna be wherever i'm gonna be at two years from now just know god willing it's gonna be the building or it's gonna be motivating but it's gonna be somewhere man okay seriously okay now for the people that want to follow you on social media what's your instagram twitter snapchat soundcloud give them all your uh, info lgp underscore qua instagram snapchat all that. I don't got no Twitter. No Twitter. We gotta get you a Twitter. We got. I mean, yeah, we gonna get one, but <laughs> I ain't. I ain't I mean, but anyway, uh, what else? You definitely could go uh, www.letsgetpaidquad.com to get the merch, the okay. Voice of the Youth merch. They definitely could go get that. New merch on the way too. And you know, stay tuned. The best is yet to come. Will be coming and y'all gonna love it, man. At least I hope so. Y'all no, gonna, gonna love it. it. <laughs> no, they should though. But you know. Definitely, man. All right, Hip-hop since 1987. You already know. Man, we appreciate man. you, man. Is there anything else you want to lead the people with before we get out of here? Just stay tuned, man. Just <laughs> listen. This is what I'm going to tell everybody. Because because everybody going to look at this interview. I want this to be clear. Like, I want this to be clear. Just know I'm coming. And I'm ch like I'm just like it's it's about to get real, man. Like this 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 whole voice of the youth thing, like this new era of positivity, this wave I'm bringing in, is gonna be enhanced tenfold, man. Like I don't want to give too much away, you feel me? But just know if y'all see me falling back, cause it be a couple people like, yo, he falling back, like why he don't? Oh, like I putting the moves together so when y'all see me, y'all, oh, it's gonna make it's all gonna make sense, man. Hip Hop since 1987, Voice of the Youth, man. Philly favorite young boy. You already know I'm doing it. All right, it's your boy Rick Dange. Here with, like you said, Philly's favorite young boy. You know, man. Voice of the Youth. You know. LGP Qua. And we are signing out with Hip Hop since 1987.com. There you go. Shout out Hip Hop since 1987, niggas. Hip Hop since 1987.com. I'm from Long Island, Long Island, New York. Um, I got my name off of the mixtapes, like, um, back before the digital ever, before the gram, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to, um, put out a lot of mixtapes and do units, you know? Me and my partners, Tape Masters Inc., started a, uh, mixtape website called The Mix Game. When they pop drama, they pop, you know, they ran down in the offices, my offices, you know, we was moving DVDs and CDs like crack, you know what I'm saying? Every, every tape we would drop, we would do like 20,000, 30,000 units. We was actually, even at that time, like the labels, they were getting mad because they weren't making no money off the mixtapes. Right. And, and we was getting all of that mixtape money. Right. So, you know, off of that, you know, I just kept on grinding. 